welcome back to my channel. Our topic for today is Distinguishing Parameter and Statistic. A parameter is a descriptive measure that describes a population. So everything about population, we call it as parameter. A statistic is a descriptive measure that describes a sample. So everything about samples, we call it as a statistic. Determine if the given situation describes a parameter or a statistic. All Taytay Senior High School students. We are talking about, of course, the population here. So this is a parameter. A selected group of Taytay Senior High School students. We are talking about, of course, part only of the population. So that is, of course, a statistic. Three, average scores of grade 10 not takers nationwide. So we are talking about the entire population here. So that is parameter. An average of not scores taken from a group of grade 10 students from Manuel I. Santos Memorial National High School. That is, of course, a statistic. Now, for the parameter, we have these three formulas. We call this as population mean and variance and standard deviation. So we use, of course, the Greek letter for population and we use Roman letter for the sample. So this one is the formula for the mean. This is read as mu. Mu is equal to summation of x divided by the n. The n is, of course, the entire population. And the mu here is the population mean. Now, for the population variance and standard deviation, this one is the formula sigma squared is equal to summation of quantity x minus mu squared divided by n. And to get, of course, the standard deviation, you will just get the square root of this. For the sample mean, we use the formula x bar is equal to summation of x divided by n. And here is, of course, the number of samples. For the sample variance and sample standard deviation, we have this formula. S squared is equal to summation of quantity x minus x bar squared divided by n minus 1. Again, this x bar is, of course, our sample mean. To get the standard deviation, you will just get the square root. Example, a population consists of 5 values, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. A sample consists of 4, and 6 are to be taken from the population. Find the parameter and statistics. Okay. We know that parameter, of course, describes the population and the statistic describes the so sum. let us get now the parameter. I'm talking about the population mean, standard deviation, and of course, the variance. So we have the x here, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. In getting the mean of the population, we use the formula summation of x divided by n. So our n here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that is our n, 5. Okay. So let us add them. 2 plus 3 is 5. Plus 4 is 9. Plus 5 is 14. Plus 6 is 20. So 20 divided by 5 is, of course, 4. So our mean is 4. Now... The next step is to, of course, get x minus mu squared. So this one is 2 minus 4. This is 3 minus 4. This is 4 minus 4. 5 minus 4. 6 minus 4. Because we need this one in the formula. So... This is negative 2 squared, that is 4. Negative 1 squared, that is 1. This is 0. This is 1 squared, 1. This is 2 squared, 4. Okay. So, our formula for this variance is this one. Sigma squared is equal to summation of x minus mu square divided by of course the n so this one is equal to so we add this 4 plus 1 is 5 plus 5 is 10 so this one is 10 divided by 1 2 3 4 5 that is 5 so our variance is equal to 2 of course so this one is your variance 
And then, okay, so our standard deviation is the square root of 2 or this one is 1 point. Let's now go to, of course, statistics. So we are talking about the sample mean, the sample standard deviation, and the sample variance. So we have here 4, 6. So we can get now the mean of this. This one is summation of x divided by, of course, dn. So this one is represented by x bar. Summation of x, that will be 10 divided by, of course, 2. So, our mean here is 5. Okay. So, the next step is to make a column for this. X minus X bar squared. So, this one is 4 minus 5. 6 minus 5. Squared and squared. So, we have now 1. Negative 1 squared is 1. And 1 squared is 1. So, this is 2. So, for the standard deviation and variance, we use the formula S squared equals summation of X minus X bar squared divided by N minus 1. So, this is S squared is equal to, we have 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 minus 1. So, we have 2 over 1. So this one is S squared. So we have S now is equal to the square root of this, the square root of this. So our S now is 1.4. Oh. So our parameter, therefore, mean, 4, variance, 2, and of course, standard deviation, 1.4. For the statistic, we have mean equals 5, standard deviation, 2, and... Variance 1.0